Hi, this is Self Discovery Support. Welcome to the channel. Today's reading is gonna be slightly different. It's a reading that I used to do on this channel um, probably last year. It was um, to do with the masculine and feminine energies. And today it's a pick a card. You can choose A or B, but today. A will be the masculine energy and B will be the feminine energy so choose one that you're interested in um, how we're gonna look at it is I'm looking at the current energies of the masculine archetype in the collective so it's less one person's story and potentially a little bit of everybody's story at this point um, it's gonna be how that collective that sits in the masculine or the feminine are feeling the things that they're experiencing and um, a little bit about the connection that they're involved in so if that seems interesting to you then please do stay choose your pile and i will see you in the piles do give a like comment subscribe if any of it resonates with you and i'm excited about it let's move forward all right welcome to group a if you are interested in what the masculine in the collective that energy is going through what is happening then this is going to be um, your reading and um, I, I advise watching both because whichever one you might be watching A for someone you're interested in but watching B for yourself or vice versa then both are going to be relevant so um, we have some energies coming up now I pulled a few cards a few oracle cards to tell us what this reading what the energy is and so one of the things that's happening here if you are in that masculine energy you connect to that archetype and there's a collective energy at this moment there is activating the third eye so there's a sense that I think it's almost like because the third eye can be there's a there's a kind of maybe social idea that intuition is a more feminine trait which that's the thing that um that's why I wanted to do these readings because they these qualities move through all of us and so it's like someone here is understanding that intuition is something that they have not tapped into as much as they could have and maybe there's a need for that because of a kind of extreme of emotion that's happening right now in hidden energies we had dispelling sadness so it kind of tells me that this is someone who has been going through maybe even depression you know like things in life are feeling like they've fallen lower and lower or expectations for life haven't been met um i'm feeling like this could be someone who i don't think it's a very young um collective maybe my collective that watches these videos is not like in their 20s or their teens but this could be someone in their 30s 40s 50s because it does have a sense of like going through life and not realizing like maybe putting all your energy into action and force and not realizing that you have this kind of softer intuitive sensitive um kind of part to you and so it says I'm willing to see beyond my beliefs, ideas, and conclusions. So yeah, it feels like someone that had probably very fixed ideas about life, you know. And a lot of us have that. Like, if you work hard, if you work this amount of years, you're going to have this success. 
if you you know just like work in this area you're gonna have this type of success and that's like on the outside the social element or that's to do with like economies which we all know right like things have changed and it's like a realization that's hitting people or even like investing in like big social institutions um marriage education church or religion we should say those types of things that you start to real you get to a point in life where you realize that oh there's actually something beyond that and i think that's what's happening for this masculine archetype here in the collective all right we also had um this is this came out this card was so funny to me you are enough because um i just watched the barbie movie and there's like that popular phrase from it you are kenoff or you're kenoff um this is ken's discovery in the movie um i won't say more about it if you haven't watched it but it just came out like this is actually what is happening for you for um this masculine archetype this could be you could be watching this and thinking this is my person yeah so i i sometimes i will refer to them as your person but it just feels like understanding their worth so understanding their worth away from like the social construct um you know you're not work or you're not your education or your romances or you know the notches on your belt or whatever it is you are enough already and you deserve good things just by being who you are all right so those are amazing things and i think unlocking all of that is is lifting the mood as well there's something here about take the leap in hidden energy this is someone that is like oh this is like a big change this is someone that is almost like the authentic person is emerging and there are things that they wanted to go for in life and it's like understanding yeah i can go for that all right let's get some tarot on this what is what's this um tell us what they're going through queen of cups okay so it's almost like a very um the queen of cups is a kind of feminine archetype in the tarot it's the person that is very intuitive um empathetic and so, and also like holds a space for love in a way unconditionally and is sensitive and it feels like that could be an experience that your person this masculine archetype is having now is like getting in touch with softer feelings I think they're also recognizing as well like where they would want to kind of place their energy in a way it's like when you develop your intuition it's like there's a clarity that comes and then you're understanding a lot of things that you thought were fact are not actually fact ace of swords but there's there's a nine of swords that came up so it feels like there's a, a kind of because this is new this is all new energy there's there's a kind of understanding or kind of anxiety anxiety how do they say it? analysis paralysis like what is happening why you know all of this is happening as well because of course like the the ego wants to you know rein in what happens it feels like because this person has started to understand so much and perhaps even with the queen of cups there is um a sense of doing what ignites your your heart rather than what is a logical thing then it feels like this person wants to it's like a discovery they want to tell everyone they want to say the thing that they they always wanted to say to someone but they never did um they want to take action it's, it's like when the veil is lifted off your eyes all right and there's hermit here so i think 
this person has been in a lot of contemplation this almost feels like um, emerging from like dark nights of the soul type of thing nine of pentacles okay I feel like this is a, a sense of like understanding independently that they don't have to be tied to anything they don't have to be um, shaped by any particular belief and they they deserve and a certain amount of pouring into themselves so that is something that's happening here um, we do have the hierophant so it feels like um, this is the traditional beliefs that we were talking about earlier but it also feels like people wanting to venture outside of that so outside of the social norms um, to just kind of almost like explore because it's, it's almost like waking up and you're it's a new world it's like all the things you thought you couldn't do it's like you know they're seeing that they can do it and okay what um, what do they want to take action on for once for some people it feels like they're wanting to pursue their happiness um, in a particular connection that they did not take action on before if you feel like this is yours this is the connection you have with this person then you know that could be what's happening here yeah wanting to bring in much more happiness in their life it's like that you are enough energy and taking the leap is one where it's like finally seeing that they deserve that in their life queen of wands all right so this is someone that um it's a very fiery energy understanding that they can attract what they want and maybe even thinking about what it is that they want to bring in um temperance who's this queen of wands what is this queen of wands okay this sometimes the queen of wands can mean um in very traditional tarot like the other person um i don't tend to use it like that but in this case it is signaling to me like this is someone that whoever this person is in their life they are wanting to kind of close a cycle so it's like closing a cycle with one person because that was such a burden on them it's been like a long time coming this is someone it's like asserting themselves yeah learning how to assert themselves in even a potential relationship that exists for them now strength card here it's like learning how to be bold brave in your own life to bring in what you want six of cups yeah there's just a sense that this, this person might be returning to something or a connection or situation in their past that they feel is much happier wanting to make changes in their life with the death card here regrets okay I think your person, this masculine archetype, is feeling the regrets of something that happened in their past. This can sometimes be a soulmate connection, and if we're talking about that, there's a sense that what, almost like wondering what if they had taken another route, wondering because currently the situation in their inn is not happy and you can see how that built up with the dispelling sadness card right and realizing that they can actually pursue happiness um yeah all right let's see okay what is next what's potentially next for this person king of swords okay so big energy of 
they're gonna like say what they mean make wise decisions for their life two of wands so there's like almost like a strategy of planning ahead this is not someone that wants to stay stuck anymore this is someone that wants to move ahead this is someone that knows that in order to do that they have to take some kind of firm decisions in their life yeah all right um what was what, what does a kind of potential um advice look like for this person in a child all right so this is a card that reminds us of the joy that it's almost like you have to take care of the inner child for the adult you to be fully cared for otherwise you're kind of taking care of the shell in a way and also like going back to rediscovering joy um for you what is the advice if you are looking at this thinking that you're involved with someone who is uh, um, in masculine energy what is the advice for you the journey all right so this is like you're on a path this is it says keep going there is almost like if this is this is part it's like understand this has all been a part of the same path and a doorway is opening it seems like with a shift in this energy and so keep going on your own path but also if you two um cross paths again if you two intersect if you're this person in the past for this masculine energy um then you know there is a kind of almost like an opportunity it feels like ace of pentacles where either energetically there's a sense that this is the path that we're taking um you may not see it immediately but it feels like there's gonna be a kind of opening and you may notice that you may feel like your life gets more um focused on your your things that you want to do your projects your mission your purpose i feel like that's exactly the journey that you're meant to be on all right so this is your reading i'm gonna grab um a card from the parrot box for you this is an affirmation to close the reading and it says well, this is a good one you are so loved yeah i would say so all right guys so this is your reading and if you like this please do like comment subscribe and we're gonna jump into b the feminine energy now take care hi okay so if you chose b this is gonna be your reading and this is the reading that belongs to the feminine energy so we're gonna be looking at that we're looking at it as an archetype in the and also a collective energy um yeah just like what's going on and if you are here looking at someone who you feel sits in feminine energy then you know this could be your reading as well all right so how are things going for um the feminine grounding my energy is the card that comes up so it feels like someone who is is really kind of making efforts to to step into a more kind of I, I would say I would use the word healthy understanding of themselves um, make sh making sure that they're more connected to reality to people to even like their finances their prosperity um yeah just kind of filling out space in the real world the physical world i should say awaken 
yeah so it's this is someone that if i feel like they have gone through an awakening if they are still going through an awakening it's it feels like the tail end of that this is someone who understands themselves in a new way as well and we do have that with change and like because of that there's like a whole lot of um things that are changing in their life it's almost like a transformation period you know like when you when you finally like realize oh i don't have to and not just not just about beliefs but more about like understanding the way they were living their life um the things that were like the conditioning the things that were playing a big part in their thought process it's like no understanding what was holding them back even um there's a sense that okay now they can take steps so let's look at the um the back of the grounding my energy card it says it's safe to be in my body um this feminine energy if you are you know relating to that it, this with that safe to be in my body card it could feel like someone who has had their fair share of trauma and has had a kind of um tendency to either dissociate or a tendency to like live in almost like magical thinking like they've how do i describe that it's like not living in like a practical everyday world but almost like stepping away from all of that and with the acknowledging apprehension in the hidden energies i'm feeling like there this person maybe had a lot of fears that they were overcoming as well it says when it's a yes nothing can stop me when i'm on shore it's always a no so it's almost like finding their voice in a way yeah and it's like a big i feel like a big boost of confidence and that is actually going to change everything here all right so let us see um what's happening tell us more about this awakening and grounding of energies six of swords yeah okay so this feminine archetype is someone that is not just not just um spiritually moving forward or um, emotionally kind of healing a lot of things so that they can move forward in life i feel like there's been a big spiritual intervention for this person but it because with the six of swords it's just all it's often like guides or sometimes if you think about it spiritually there's somebody that's protecting you to help you move forward and i think that's what's happening here but also this person could be physically moving physically traveling maybe changing their environment and that change card was here ace of cups in hidden energies this is like searching for something that's more um emotionally fulfilling I think this is not like um I don't think it's just about love it's just it's more like wanting to give yourself more opportunity to be your higher truer self self love as well okay we did have the two of cups I just saw the two of cups so it could be through this process it's kind of making a path for a partnership to come in if you are what well, we're gonna find out more i was gonna say if you are feeling like you're here checking on someone who is in that feminine energy for as you know a connection it does feel like this whole process is clearing the way for a strengthened connection or a new a revitalized or a new connection um the star this is a lot of like healing energy it's like it's really like someone who is gone through spiritual growth spiritual development um i totally should have covered these cards up but um yeah youtube's gonna um, gonna flag this video isn't it but yeah um ace of pentacles wants to slip out here 
all right and i see why now the ace of pentacles just slipped off and it's it's telling us exactly what we saw with the ace of cups we now see ace of pentacles this is someone who with a star is actually moving ahead to make their dreams and wishes come true this is someone who is almost even stepping into that star status for themselves and um if you if you relate to this like if you're in that feminine energy in the collective do let me know like what is happening for you in your life that you know you're stepping into this kind of quality energy ace of pentacles new offers i feel like there's like a lot of i feel like this person by doing what they've done is actually opening the door for a love connection i don't think that this person was very open to connections before or they didn't have the best time in these um situations wow okay lovers like, tell us about this lovers energy here page of cups this feels like a new um yeah new feelings like meeting someone new because you're in this elevated energy now it's like it's almost like you know how when you are wearing a lot of your conditioning and a lot of your the things that happen to you your trauma is what i think we talked about trauma for her when you're wearing your trauma sometimes all people can see is the coping mechanisms and the um the things that happen to you the energy that like floats above your head but because this feminine has been kind of almost like clearing that up people can now see the true her and that is actually very inviting and i think it's making way for look at this bottom of the deck king of cups yeah there is somebody here that um it's almost like she's gone through this process and like it's not it's like a um it's just like energetically open the door for somebody else to come in um we do have ten of swords here so this could be somebody that um for some of you that relate to this feminine energy this could be somebody that something ended with before and it's like it's coming around again so past energies something that felt um like there was um i, I thinking of that song love's a lose love is a losing game kind of thing but it feels like with a fool it's like a new start a new start that's possible here tell us about this king of cups who's this king of cups okay this is somebody that comes out all with all cups this is like somebody that there's a potential for new starts with ace of cups appears again um and the two of cups like it's all cups energy coming out all emotional fulfillment it's almost like the journey had to happen the change had to happen so that this person could come in six of wands here um it feels like it's telling you if you are that feminine that there is going to be a sense of finally success in connections um there's something of approaching connections in a new way yeah i think is what we see here wow that is just like amazing it's it's really to me this reading is talking about the value of healing yourself going through the healing journey because it can feel like sometimes the things you wanted to happen in your life maybe this feminine was looking for a connection for a long time wanted to have a partner for a long time but as soon as they turn to address themselves it's like everything cleared up and it all works out okay 
um, but it, it's something about apprehension. So maybe there's been like um, the trauma of the past. I can only imagine what like what causes fear when it comes to connections, which is often like bad connections earlier on. Um, so that's what's happening. All right, and if. I want to get advice for this feminine and then I'm going to get advice for the person that is interested in this feminine. So for this feminine, what's the advice here? Okay, introspection, continued introspection. This is like the hermit card to me. It's like continued looking inside, continued sifting through who you are tapping into the true self and for the person if you are a masculine energy or um, you're interested in the feminine energy this is advice for you abundance all right so it's knowing that you have everything that is needed is here it's possible it feels like this could be a time where there could be a focus on your earthly prosperity so work career that type of thing is there's it's almost like a, a doorway now a window to bring that in but also knowing that you have access to all the things that you want as well um, there's a real kind of king of pentacles vibe here all right tell us about this we have the four of wands we have the queen of wands for her yeah it's stepping into empowerment for the feminine and for the masculine it's knowing that you can have the happiness which seems like an echo of pile A as well. Um, five of Wands with the Emperor here. I think the general message is keep fighting for sovereignty in your life. Keep fighting for the things that you know are a part of your mission, your purpose. It's also like not letting anybody pull you down in a way. Um, yeah, so I think this is your reading. We're going to pull um, an affirmation for you from the parrot box. It's a closing message for the feminine. It always seems impossible until it's done. Yeah, that's that journey energy, that process that's happening Things that you didn't think were possible are actually going to be super possible for you now. So, all the best. And if you did enjoy this, you see something of yourself in this, do like, leave a comment, and subscribe, of course. We'd love to have you on another video. Take care.